start our first round in a second ballet position. Open your feet further out than shoulder wide so that you don't push into your knees. Your toes look to the side. Now bend your legs and start with small pulses. Straighten your pelvis so that your sitting bones look down towards the floor and push your knees outwards towards your little toe. Continue with the attitude lift. Lift your leg at a 90 degree angle, turn it out so that your knee is facing to the side and your heel is pushing up to the ceiling. Start with small pulses to the top. In this exercise we train especially the inner side of the thighs. Your standing leg is slightly bent so that the hip stabilizers and the thigh muscle in the standing leg are also activated. Now we combine both exercises to really challenge the thigh muscles once again. Your upper body remains completely upright. The shoulders are directly above your pelvis. Make sure that you don't tip over into the hollow back. Next comes a cardio round to boost your fat metabolism. When you jump, make sure you land quietly and in a controlled way. When you land, keep your heel back on the ground. If you can't or don't want to jump, choose the easier option.
again we put both exercises together. Find your way back to your deepest lunge again and again and push yourself with the power from your legs to your front leg. Make your spine long like a table. This is a wonderful full body exercise. You train your legs, your back extensor and if you take your arms with you, you also train your upper back and your shoulder muscles. Let us once again feel our muscles burning by combining both exercises. Think more in length than in height during the exercises. Your spine stays very long. Enjoy the movement. Feel the strength in your legs and your back muscles.
Again, we combine both exercises to a superset. Try to stretch your legs once again. Your spine and buttocks stay on the floor. Tense every single muscle in your body once again, except for your face, which should remain relaxed. Our next cardio round trains our lateral abdominal muscles. We start with a crisscross exercise. You can leave your legs bent for the lighter version or if you want to make it more difficult, you can stretch your legs again. Try to touch your thigh with your opposite elbow. Let the breath flow, bring your elbows far out and try to keep your shoulder blades in the air during the exercise. <laughs> 